Good afternoon everyone, my name is Alex Dodds, welcome to episode 59, a special Christmas edition of Dodds Diaries. Today is Friday the 23rd of December, time is now coming up to 10 past 2, and this afternoon, for this year's Christmas special, I'm going to draw down to West Yorkshire, I'm going to do Leeds and Bradford, which I've done before in a normal episode, but this year it's going to be a more festive edition. Now, in previous years, I've gone out on Christmas Eve and done my Christmas special. Unfortunately, this year, due to uh, work commitments, I have had to change it a bit. So that's why I'm going out this afternoon to do it. We're starting here at Chesley Street. We'll get the um, quarter past two to Leeds. We've been a normal service today. I won't have a worry about getting back home. I'll be getting the um, ten past ten train from Leeds back to here. Now down there, I will do my train spotting at the station, I'll look around the scene, I will go to Bradford as well. I fancy a little trip there just to do me, um, just have a nice ride in the class 158 at some point. Now the weather at the moment, I'm catching the tail end of Storm Barbara, which is passing down. Hopefully where I'm going there shouldn't be any problems. So my Christmas diary is today that I'm filming it, and then I'm doing me uh, Christmas, and I'm doing another Christmas video. But I'll do that in Newcastle tomorrow. And here's a um, HST passing through, going to King's Cross. I'd love to be down London at Christmas time. It'd be lovely. Anyway, let's enjoy this uh, festive day out. Comes the 1413 to Leeds, which is where the train is actually terminating today. All trains from Newcastle, Trans Pennines, terminating at Leeds. Yes, thank you. I have to fix them up. 
Thanks for leaving the train. Right, I'm now in Leeds, it's now 10 to 4. I'm here until 10 past 10 tonight. Signed in straight away, no problem. Gonna do train spot for about an hour and a half, an hour and 45. It's very stormy at the moment, it's raining, it's quite miserable. I'm still getting a bit of storm Barbara here. I'll go down to Bradford later on. At the moment we have East Coast 225 just arrived from King's Cross. 158 and a one um, 153 going out there as well. Got another 158 down there. A 144 just over there. Now the Trans Pennines from Newcastle that would go to Liverpool are actually terminating here during the Christmas period, due to the engineering works on the Orsall Court in Manchester. Meantime, let's enjoy the uh, festive fun today. I've not been here that long and look, the heavens have really, really opened now. You can see the rain's just splashing. And listen to that. It's just splashing off the platforms and the trains. See the spray as well. But no, the one is very, very dark. You can see. Thank God I'm underneath this.
happens at East Cross Turn from King's Cross, we just got a Class 90 on the front. This train will now depart from platform 8. This is a platform alteration for ticket holders for the 1645 Virgin Train Service London King's Cross. This train will now depart from platform 8.
Right, it's five past five. Thankfully, the weather has eased off now. Now I can stand down the end of the laundress platform and uh, do my shots. Then I'll be leaving the station about 10 to 6, 6 o'clock, something like that. On the back there is 90 or 34 on higher to Virgin East Coast from DB Schenker. Supposed to cover for a uh, class 91 that might be getting works on it, or just maybe to provide an extra locomotive. That class 142 and the 153, that's going to a dual. Only one of two services each way that goes to dual. This, it actually goes past um, Nottingley and operates parliamentary service, limitary.
It's now coming up to 13 minutes to 6. We're going to sign out, go around the city in the rain, that is, it's just come back again. And then about 7 o'clock ish, go to um, Bradford. Let's enjoy the rest of the evening. Right, I'm now going to go to Bradford and I've got a choice. I can either get to the 1905 Blackpool North surface, which will be a class 1 Vivate, that'll be coming in shortly, or I could get the Manchester Victoria service, which will hopefully be this 158752, which is a newly refurbished Northern class 158. The 158 will be refurbished into a Northern Connect. Well, when the refurbished, they will be put on Northern Connect services, and these will be coming up to Heat and Depot in a year or two, or hopefully sooner than that. Well, I'm going to be getting the new refurbished set to Bradford Interchange because the Blackpool service, not only is it 158860, which is a um, Perkins engine sound in 158, but also the train is too packed as well. So I'm going to have a ride, nearly refurbished one. Nice. This will be going to Manchester, Victoria.
Right, I'm now in Bradford. I'm at uh, Bradford Interchange Station. It's now coming up to quarter to eight. I'm just going to be here for under half an hour, and then I will have a quick walk over the, across the city to Foster Square Station. At the moment, we have Grand Central Class 180. I think that's arrived from King's Cross earlier on, and actually around the other side, can't see, but there's a 142 and a 153, I think. That'll go to Leeds. Over there is the interchange itself. Now the whole station, we're on the site of, I think near enough, the old Bradford Exchange station, which was round here somewhere. It was very similar to King's Cross station when it was going. Right, now a quick walk to Foster Square Station and then we'll come back here to Interchange where we get the train from there back to Leeds. We'll have a look at the Christmas decorations while we're here. Right, I'm now at Foster Square Station, coming up 20 past. Now there isn't many trains due out from here, so... However, one train in particular I'm after, this one, which is just going to Shipley, I think, departing from platform number three. Something I don't see quite often whenever I'm here. In the couple of times I've been here, that is.
Right, back to the interchange I bore. Now this is quite impressive. Look, each of the arches here are in different colours. The colours of the rainbow. these actually all change colour as well but each art is the colour of the rainbow Right, I'm going to get the 2104 back to Leeds, which comes from Blackpool North. If this train is quiet, which hopefully it will be, I'll get on that. It's going to be a 158. If it's not, then I'll get the one after that, which terminates at Leeds, just comes from Huddersfield. But of course, if I risk missing this one, I may not even be, I may not be able to get a class 158 going back. Yes, this is my obsession with them. And I am quite fussy about class 158s, but I love them. Oh no, I'm gutted. It's my favourite, 158787. But this is going to Manchester, Victoria, so I can't get this one. Oh well, never mind. I will see you soon, mate.
Right, it's now 21.22, just getting off that train from Bradford. That is also the train I would have normally getting off had if I'd gone to Blackpool for the day, because I would have left there at 19.10 and it would have got here now, 21.22. Now, just going to kill time for the next 15 minutes and then I get the uh, 22.11, 11 minutes past 10, Trans Pennine back to Chesley Street. Comes my train back to Chesley Street. 2211 nice. service. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Ye
This train is for Newcastle and will be calling at Chester Street and Newcastle. shortly be arriving at Chester Street. If you are leaving the train, please make sure you take all your personal belongings with you. Right, everyone, back at uh, Chesley Street. It's now coming up to five to midnight. We're now heading into the morning of Christmas Eve. Tonight is the night before, the night before Christmas. Christmas Eve in a few minutes time and then it'll be Christmas Day afterwards. Mm. We'll end uh, today's uh, diary here. And also, I'll be doing a full review of this year, as this is the last diary of 2016, as well. Firstly, today, started here this afternoon, I should say, got the train to Leeds. In Leeds, the weather was very stormy, and I think I caught Storm Barbara. I hope she made her way right the way up here. You can see this, you can see the spray and everything splashing off the trains and the platforms 
Late the stage, it was good. At least what I did get was the class 90 that uh, was on higher to Virgin East Coast, 90034. And seeing that, that's actually from DB Schenker. So getting that was a bonus. But other than that, I got the usual traffic at Leeds. I did see the refurbished class 158 later on in the evening, but more about that later. After the station went uh, round the city centre, Leeds at Christmas time is lovely. The decorations are fantastic. And um, in the two seconds, we have a 142 Pacer making its way through. was all one six that that's going back to Hayton Depot back to bed and that's what I will be doing shortly looked around the city saw the decorations and then afterwards went had a little trip over to uh, Bradford actually managed to get the uh, refurbished class 158 from Leeds to Bradford interchange Bradford interchange I did get the uh, Grand Central class 180 which was good Got me your 158, including 1787, my most favourite and adored. That's the obs that is the kind of obsession I have with 158s. I just love them so much. The sound the engine noises make, it's like classical music to me. I could just go to sleep listening to them. Did a little quick walk over to Bradford Foster Square Station as well. That was alright. Well, okay, I just got the free, free, free going out and the one coming in. Both of them came on platform three, actually, which is not. I don't think platform three at Foster Square is used that much. Afterwards, got another one five eight from um, Bradford back to Leeds. Then um, hand around for a bit, and then Leeds back to here. That's uh, today done. Now I'm going to do a full review of the whole year, despite the fact I'm cold out here and I'm shivering. I won't be too long. January this year, went to Hartlepool to uh, film the East Coast diverts for the first time. I didn't go on them, but I filmed them, which was good. I even met up with uh, Simon and Ian Poole. They were having a little holiday up there as well and they did the diverts. They were doing each station on the um, coastline, which was um, that which was good. You can see their diaries from this year. They did a session at Darlington, and then in the end of January, I had my 50th diary. My God, it seems a hell of a long time ago. So it only seems like yesterday since I did it. My 900 mile journey around the country in one whole day, 24 hours at the cost of 47 quid in total. Basically, that was my best ever day out, ever. My longest as well. I even had to go through Storm Gertrude that day, and the train I got from Glasgow to Carlisle had to divert via Dumfries, because uh, Storm Desmond had uh, washed away parts of uh, Lamerton Viaduct in Lan South Lanarkshire. That eventually reopened in the end of February. Then uh, into February, well, I went to Blackpool for a few nights, well, the time there was fine. The only problem was the hotel was an absolute shambles. It was the worst. The Videla Hotel was the worst ever one I ever stayed in. It was an absolute piece of crap. There's a lot of things I could tell you about it, but I'm just not going to mention them. There's, there's too much to list. This I can tell you the last uh, the last morning of it. I didn't even get. Wasn't even able to have a hot shower either. So after Blackpool. In March, went to Teesside Airport, well, Durham Tees Valley Airport, did the uh, the, di the uh, weekly uh, Sunday service that was there. It's only one train each way. I went there with a group of uh, other people as well. We were trying to beat the record for the largest amount that have gone to that station. We didn't beat it, but we still had a fun day out. Even my photograph got on the BBC News website as well. In uh, April I did nothing, May did nothing, because I was too busy with work, and of course I had driving, started driving lessons then as well. 
Oh, and I can tell you, in November, in case you all didn't know, but I did pass my driving test in November, first time round. <laughs> so, the next year, you'll be seeing me on the roads. Dodd's Diaries might be going on the road. June went to Liverpool. It was nice to get back on the trains after a few months break. That was def that was a nice that was a lovely day out I had in Liverpool. The best part of it was actually doing a whole trip on the Mersey ferry. The, the, the River Mer it's a wonderful place to visit Liverpool. I would go again, although I need to give some places a break. Um, July. What did I do? Well, I went to Sheldon just for a few hours to um, have a see the um, Flying Stotsman. That was there. Um, August, no diaries. And then September, I had me. Um, I had a wonderful holiday in Wales. I went for the very first time in my life. Absolutely enjoyed it. Just unfortunate I'd lost day four of the Wales footage because I dropped my memory card in Blackpool. That was due, I'll explain that later. Oh, I definitely want to go back to Wales again, although I may want to go to North Wales next time because I haven't done that area. Probably stop in Shrewsbury or Chester and then do like places like Hollyhead, London or Fuelli, Aberystwyth and all that. The following weekend after that was my uh, pre-birthday weekend when I went away to the West Midlands for two for a night. So I met up with Jack Newell, wonderful lad. Thank you for him for letting us stop over in Telford on the night. Unfortunately, the second day of that, I lost that along with Wales Day 4 when the memory card went. It's a shame because I had my very first visit to a Cadbury World as well and I absolutely enjoy that and I was absolutely gutted that I lost that. Then into October I did the uh, Tyne Valley d line diverts for the very first time and actually went on them. Met up, must have met up with at least 13 people at Carlisle. Half of Facebook turned up there and we all had a full of, uh, we went, uh, full of banter and laughter and fun. That was a wonderful day. Then I went on the coach to Blackpool on the 27th of October. Uh, maybe that could be the last time I do a diary for there. But then again, I just say that. I've been to Blackpool like 14, 15 times now. And, well, I never get bored of the place, but I do need to take a break from it, I think. Then in November, I did the diary at the end of November when I went to East Yorkshire, went to York, then Hull, then Scarborough in the winter. Scarborough was lovely. It's one of my favourite holiday destinations. A bit different going in the winter. Normally I go in the summertime for a holiday, but this time just went for an evening. And then um, obviously went back to York. And then into uh, December, well, I was at Durham the other day doing a video. And then of course today I've been out to Leeds. Well, thank you very much for watching this and every diary that I've done this year. Follow me on Twitter, Alex Dodds for the link is on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And as I add my uh, snow effect now, well um, the snow is coming down, basically it's the video effect I've just added. I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and, and a Happy New Year. All the best. And I hope to see you all in 2017. I probably won't be doing many outings because I hope people will be getting me car. And I've got a lot of other things to do as well. So I will do a few. And then um, I'll hopefully I'll be renewing my real card in July. And that'll be the very last time I can do it. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in 2017. Good night. God bless. I love you all. Have a wonderful time. Ho, 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 ho.